Hey, good news is I found the kid. Bad news is we can't tame it because the kid can't access the nest. That's the only problem with this. Hmm. This was a very bad spot to put a Gigantoraptor nest. What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. Last we left off we tamed a Dinosuchus which should be in this crowd here. But before we do that I want to show you what I've um, done off camera. So if we look here, boom. I have done some renovations to the breeding pen. So here's what I've done. So if we go in here, the whole center area, this is our breeding area. We've got two of the pyromanes breeding. We've got the Euterenus, the Nothosaurus, the Vectospinus is our breeding, and the, the Rex is our breeding. I mean, they're not breeding right now, it doesn't look like. Behavior... Okay, they are set on breeding. Alright, they'll be breeding in another minute or so. But yeah, as you can see, and we've got the Oviraptor collecting all of the eggs, as per usual. So, what I've been doing was uh, breeding up the Rexes, trying to get like a Rex army going, as well as breeding up a bunch of Nothosaurs and Vectospinus to see if we could get some perfect stats and some imprinted versions. With this mod, we don't even need the... What's it called? The air conditioners. Oh, oh, I don't want to type O. I want to drop the eggs. In today's agenda, I would like to see if we could go after a Gigantoraptor. Because those guys are, like, really good at, like, helicopter parenting and whatever. So this is the breeding area. Let me show you. On, and on each side, I've got, like, pens and whatever. Stables. That's what they're called. We store the moss chops here. One of the pyromanes is stored here. And I've stored the Argentavis over here. And then I've got another end. And on the other side, what I've done was I've put the uh, Castorotes and Parasaur over here. The Raptors over here. The Barry and the Mono over here. Basically things that we no longer use. Oh, and for the stats on the Barry, the one that we tamed last episode, it has really good health. 48 points into health. And only 35 points into melee. So if we can get one that has really good melee. If we can get a Barry with really good melee. A male with really good melee. Then that would be golden. Alright. So in today's video I'm thinking about taming a. Um, what's it called? A uh, Gigantoraptor. And I have checked. I don't have the mod. But it's on there. So it must have became an official creature. That's part of the base game at some point. So let me turn up the gamma a little bit. So we can see. Let me see, where's the, there's the gecko. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to take, where's Mufasa? Mufasa, there you are. And I should probably take the ghillie armor. Because if I look correctly, let me see if I get a picture of them. Let me see, this is basically a picture of where they spawn, pretty much. So these guys pretty much spawn in the two top islands. You can also find them near the blue obelisk and the whatever, so... We're going to see if we could find a Gigantoraptor or two. They basically spawn wherever Therizinos spawn. So we'll check by the rivers first. In the jungle. So, you know what? We might take Mufasa over here. Turn you into a shoulder pet. I'm over encumbered for some reason. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Wait, hold on. Before we go, let me take out a couple of eggs. Because we're going to need some eggs... To distract the... Oh, they're in here. Now we're going to get some ghillie armor. Because we're going to need that for the Gigantoraptor tame. That's if we find one. There's no guarantee we're going to find one. But we'll have to hope, you know? And it doesn't really matter what level this guy is. We just need it for kibble, basically. Well, not kibble, but like... Uh, we can claim wild babies. And they'll get all their levels. So... That's that's what we're that's what I'm trying to get at. All right, let me just uh, dispose of some of this stuff. All right, we should be all set to go. Now, where's the D arc? There you are. All right, so they should spawn like across the river in the jungles and whatever. 
So if we manage to find one, then good. I mean, for this guy, we are very heavy. Oh, there is metal here. That's very good to know. Very convenient, actually. Alright, so we need to... These guys basically spawn wherever Therizino spawn. Now we are looking for a relatively high level. It doesn't matter too much what level they are. Like, I would say like an 80 or a 90 would be good enough, but... We'll take a... We'll take a 140 or a max level if it's there. I hear one. Okay. What level are you? 95? You know what? That's perfect. If you could have a nest somewhere... Does it have a nest? So now what we need to do is locate the nest. You know what I should do? Since we found the Gigantoraptor, let's go on back on the D-Arc. Let's see if we can locate the nest. It's like right on the cliff. Do you have a baby, though? And you fell off the cliff. Wonderful. How wonderful. I think I do hear a baby. Alright. This could work, or it could backfire. So let me just change into my ghillie suit. I believe you do have to be crouching when you enter the nest. Now it gives you three options, because you have to basically copy what it does. Uh, let's hide in here. Will the baby... Will the baby arrive at the nest, or... Or did it follow the parent? I... Because the parent did fall off the cliff. Yeah, this was a very bad spot to put a nest. Wait, I think I hear it. Crouch. I do hear it. I heard footsteps. I know the mother or the father in this case fell off the cliff. I want to see if we can grab it, you know? It needs to be able to access the nest. That's the only problem. Hey, good news is, I found the kid. Bad news is... We can't tame it because the kid can't access the nest. That's the only problem with this. Hmm. This was a very bad spot to put a Gigantoraptor nest. I think this one's a dud. Oh, we do take fall damage. Alright. Alright, this one is a dud, so... Let me just go ahead and kill this guy. Alright. That one was definitely a dud. The moment that parent fell off the cliff, I knew that one was a dud. Alright. We got one of those Australian sauropods, a level 60. I like to get a high level version of that. That was a very bad spot to put that. A very bad spot. Okay, I think the game crashed. I think the game crashed. Otherwise, it would have unfroze by now. Alright, guys, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm just looking around the... Finally, an 85. It took, it took a little bit. Ants piss off. But we finally found one. It's a level 85. You know what? It'll do. And it's in a better spot. Looks like a raptor is attacking it. Don't tell me the raptor just killed the baby. Don't you dare tell me the raptor just killed the baby. Let's try it anyway. Don't you dare tell me the raptor just killed the baby. So what you want to do is you want to drop off the eggs. And you want to distract the mom. The parent. While... Alright, while you sneak into the nest. And look for the baby. Oh, okay. Where's the nest? Where's the nest? No, no, crouch. I keep thinking control is to crouch. Alright, we need to crouch. Hide in the nest. There we go. Alright. It'll tell us to do one of three things. Either dance, spin, or flap. Alright, what do we need to do? Hello. Alright, that's a flap. Okay. 
All right, we did good. I right, we just need to keep an eye on the, the mom. Finally, we tamed, we found one anyway. I'm not counting my blessings just yet. But these guys were so hard to find. Very rare. I mean, I don't want to say too rare, maybe uncommon, but whatever. All right, come on, baby. We just need one more. Haven't tamed one in a hot minute, so there we go. I think this will be it. You want... All right, that's a foul, so S. And there we have it. Gigantoraptor tamed. Yeah, yeah, we got that. Okay. Um, okay, so... Uh, how do we... There we go. So now what you want to do is... Now that the baby has been tamed, you want to kill the parent. Because they won't lay another egg and have another baby. So there we go. Ooh. Alright, that's the leftover Uterinus egg. We might as well pick that up. Alright! We tamed ourselves a Gigantoraptor. It's not the greatest level. It's only a level 85. But we managed to do it. You know what? I'm gonna save the game just in case it crashes. Damn, that was very hard to find. I mean, if we find another one, then maybe I'll go for it. Because that did seem pretty easy. I mean, then again, it was only an 85. So, okay, there's a Therizino. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this Therizino. Just so more can spawn in. Oh, I killed a gecko by accident. I'm sorry. Oh, hello. Pyroraptors. Those were the first Pyroraptors we've seen. Wait, did you drop something? A flame feather. Okay. And an, a blueprint for an ascendant saddle. There's another Pyroraptor here. What level are you? 90? I'll go ahead and kill you. Because we don't need that. Alright. We'll tame a Pyroraptor some other time. Those were the first Pyroraptors I've seen on here. Yeah, there we go. There's... Alright. Oh, hello. Oh, Serratos are terrifying. And we're finally back after a long trek. That was a pretty long episode because we had trouble finding one in the whole bit, but we managed to find one and tame one. It's only a level 85, so it's not the greatest level, but it's something. I, I heard that, Pego. There we go. Alright, Mufasa, as always, good job. Diark, you too. What, what stats did the Gigantoraptor have, just out of curiosity? Okay, 21 points into health, 27 into stamina, 23 points into melee, and 16 points into weight. Well, it is only a level 85, so that's to be expected with this guy. Alright, you know what? Let me make a saddle for this guy, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so we've got we've also got a gecko of the opposite gender. Oh, you're a rainbow star gecko, and you're just a regular star. Pego! Uh, it must have chased me all the way. It must have. I need to create, like, a, a fence, a barricade for this place. Good job, Dinosuchus. Good job. Alright, let me make the saddle for the Gigantoraptor. Alright. Let's test this Gigantoraptor and take it out for a spin. Keep in mind, it is only a level 85. Alright, we got ourselves a Gigantoraptor. I like the cyan for the beak and the legs and the arms. That's kind of cool. Alright, I don't think we need the ghillie armor anymore. Let's just put this back on. Oh, never mind, we're overheating. Alright, so what kind of damage do we do? What does left click do? 187. For a level 85, that's not bad. Alright, what does the right click? I think that's the kick. Yeah, 450. That's pretty amazing. 1300 with a headshot. Great, because the Dillo spat on me. I can't see. 
Let me get around you so I can attack you better. I can't hit you head on because you don't do much damage. Why did I pick a fight with a high level trike? Alright, can you stop turning around? You know what I don't understand with this game? How come... That was a 145. How come they can turn around very quick, but you can't? How come? Why is that? Oh, we got 4,000 health. Let's get that melee up a bit. Alright. Gigantoraptor has been acquired. Well, that's a beautiful Toronodon. That's a 55. Now we do about 2,200. That's better. Much better. Alright. We got ourselves a Gigantoraptor. And this guy can kind of do the terror bird thing. Alright. So that's our Gigantoraptor friend. What does C do? It does like a call. I think that... Oh yeah, it detects... It detects babies. Oh yeah, that I forgot about that. Alright. So this is our Gigantoraptor friend. Looks all battered and bruised because we leveled him up. Let me get a screenshot for the thumbnail. Alright. We tamed a Gigantoraptor. We also tamed a Gecko. And what else did we do? Oh, we got our first... Or we killed our first Pyroraptor. Let me put you in the fridge. There we go. Alright. And with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.